Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum. So first, before we start with the content, make sure that you keep in mind that the CME on Friday closed at $54,000. So that means wherever the price is going during the weekend, most of the times we are coming back to this price level as soon as the CMEs are starting again on Monday. So let's now dive straight into the spot chart and have a look where is Bitcoin at right now. And here in the one hour time frame. The good thing is that we are back in an uptrend. We are trading above all the moving averages. We are above the EMA ribbons. And as you can see, all the money flow is positive here. So Bitcoin currently is trading here at around $56,000. And it looks like that we are approaching here towards this resistance that we also previously had here at around $56,900. And then maybe also go to test the main resistance that we have from this falling channel here that we are in currently and the resistance is right here at $58,000. So as long as we're trading below this important price level, I'm still leaning more that we are trading here sideways or maybe even see continuation to the downside here to maybe even test here this 50K area again. But sooner or later, in my opinion, especially in the month of April, I'm still leaning more to the bullish side that we will gonna see here a breakout to the upside and move on towards new all time highs. But if this was the bottom here at $50,400 and now we're going to break out to the upside, I'm not pretty convinced yet just because we have this CME close at $54,000. So in my opinion, we will see here the price coming back down to retest here this $54,000. And if this 54 now is new support, then in my opinion, we have very good chances to see here this test of $58,000 and potentially also break it to the upside. Only if we would fall again below this $54,000 support that in theory we should have now. So this Fibonacci retracement here, then I think it is pretty clear that we're going to potentially create here a lower low. So we maybe are coming down to test $49,000. And then, of course, we must see a bounce because if this support is getting lost here, then things could start to really look ugly. And we should target here the 20 weekly moving average, which currently is at around $40,000. So here in the lower time frames, I'm expecting here sooner or later a, a retest of this $54,000 area, not only because the CME is uh, close there, but also because here in the four hour, you can see that we are approaching here a resistance. We are a bit overbought and we could get very soon a sell signal here in the four hour time frame. And therefore here, I'm also expecting here a retest of the bottom of the EMA ribbons. And of course, also here of the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame which is perfectly lining up with this $54,000 area where also the CME closed on uh Friday. So I'm pretty confident that we will come back down to this price level. And if here we're going to have a successful bounce to the upside, then we maybe have the chance here to have a successful breakout out of this falling pattern here. And then, of course, the targets are way above $62,000. But this is what we're going to have to check once we are breaking out here to the upside. We are not out of the woods yet. Also, here in the lower time frames, you can see that money flow, at least here in the four hour time frame, is still negative. So we want to see here money flow flow back into positive in order to have good chances here to break out to the upside. We are seeing this already here in the one hour time frame, but here things can change very, very quickly. So we want to see positive money flow here also in the four hour time frame as well to confirm that we're definitely heading up here towards a breakout above $58,000. And if we go over into the daily time frame, you can see that we still have this resistance right here at the 20 daily moving average. It's lining up here right at the resistance of this Fibonacci retracement here at around $56,500. And the good thing is here in the daily time frame that we have now a confirmed buy signal. And of course, money flow is still positive and we are trading above the 50 level in the RSI. So in my opinion, it is very likely that here sooner or later, we're going to have a successful breakout to the upside towards new all time highs. 
The only thing that needs to be broken is of course here the 20 daily moving average and this main resistance that we have here at around $58,000. So the daily time frame is still looking bullish. We are in an uptrend here and trend is your friend as you know. So we should still look for good long opportunities and buy opportunities than shorting already now because we're still far away from a cycle top in my opinion. Even though if here we could have an explosive move to the upside, I think we could have a local top here then maybe a big washout and then continuation to the upside but for the long term we are looking very bullish my friends and that's why we should consider to buy every dip that we are seeing on the way towards our bullish targets so in the daily time frame we have now this confirmed buy signal so we can start to look again for nice long entries and that's why i'm still very bullish for the month of april and may so the only thing that needs to happen here is that we're gonna start to close daily candles above the 20 daily moving average and then of course also break out from this resistance of fifty-eight thousand dollar. and then of course we should expect here a big breakout to the upside and as soon as we are breaking above fifty-eight thousand dollar, i think the pump will be quite huge and the same thing goes also for ethereum my friends because ethereum is in a very similar situation like on bitcoin here we are also below the 20 daily moving average right here at 1760 this was also our previous support and now it should be acting as a new resistance so also here once we're trading again above the 20 daily moving average in my opinion we will be back in an uptrend here and we should also see very soon new all-time highs here for ethereum and you can see that also here we got a confirmed buy signal right now so if bitcoin is starting to pump here and also create new all-time highs i'm pretty confident that we're gonna see follow through also for ethereum and now if we have a look also into the weekly time frame here for bitcoin you can see that the nine weekly moving average is right here at our main support that we have to hold here in order to not go sub 40k it's right here at 49 thousand dollar and then of course the 20 weekly moving average here this 36 thousand dollar this would be the worst case scenario if we would lose here the nine weekly moving average if we're going to see another attempt here to retest this 50k area the important thing is that we're not gonna lose this forty nine thousand dollar and by next week these moving averages will be way higher so we're gonna have to update these two moving averages on monday again because since these two moving averages are very important for our bull run we always have to update them and always check where they are because usually the nine weekly moving average is pressing the price up here and if here we're gonna have a successful bounce to the upside my targets are still here to reach this 75 to 100k before we may be gonna have somewhere a bigger sell-off that could take us down again towards the 20 weekly moving average then consolidate and start then the next parabolic run up towards targets way above one hundred thousand dollars so the last thing that needs to happen my friends is that we are able again to start trading here above fifty eight thousand dollar we have to take out this resistance up here in order to be in a confirmed uptrend again where we're gonna see again explosive moves to the upside as long as we are trading within this channel here there is still the chance that here we could see a fifty four thousand dollar retest maybe even drop lower towards fifty two or forty nine thousand but overall as soon as we are breaking out here above $58,000 we're gonna be out of the woods and then I'm expecting here new explosive moves to the upside and then of course we're gonna have to check several cycle top indicators that could suggest that we should take out some profits very soon just to buy the dip if we're gonna see somehow a bigger sell-off that could take us sooner or later down towards the 20 weekly moving average and then accumulate again more Bitcoin with those profits because keep in mind that we are still in an uptrend we're still in our bull run and the estimated cycle top of this cycle should be way above 100k so if here we're gonna see somehow a blow off top or a big rise up towards 75 to 100k and you're taking out some profits there then make sure that you're accumulating back into bitcoin once we could see maybe a bigger sell-off down towards the 20 weekly moving average because for the long term bitcoin is anyway going towards way higher levels and don't expect bitcoin to go again sub 10k we probably never will go again below the 20 weekly moving average during this bull cycle here so that's why make sure that you're accumulating as much bitcoin as possible on this way towards our next cycle top with every dip that you're seeing especially with this one that we have seen for now 
So if we have another chance to buy cheap Bitcoin here towards 50K, take it as a good buy opportunity. And if we're gonna drop here below this $49,000, buy more at the 20 weekly moving average because for the long term we're still looking very bullish and these little pullbacks that we have seen so far you should always take it as a good buy opportunity and don't freak out to try to sell the tops because this is very hard it's easier to focus in just buying the dips because bitcoin for the long term is anyway going to way higher levels so don't try to sell the tops try to buy every dip that is coming on this way towards new all-time highs and if you want to trade these swings when we're going up and when we're coming down, then make sure that you open up an account over on Femex and also Bybit. Those are the recommended exchanges that I'm also using to trade Bitcoin and other altcoins up to 100x leverage. And if you want to make some gains, but you don't want to trade yourself with leverage, then try out PrimeXPT because here you can easily just copy trade other successful traders. Here you don't need KYC, nothing. Just open up an account with my invitation link down below here, top up some Bitcoin and then you can click here on follow on the traders that you would like to follow and like this you can also do some gains if you catch the right traders. And also a big shout out to our great Discord trading community. If you want to join our crypto trading chat here, then make sure to use only here the official link that you find in the video description. Once you have clicked on this invitation link, you have to go here to read first and then click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. And like this, you have free access to the trading chat. And if you also want to get access to my live stream indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, a small donation is needed. You have to contact me here privately on Discord. And like this, you can get access to my live stream indicator. Otherwise, just get here a membership on YouTube. Like this, you also have free access to the live stream indicator here in Discord. So with that said, guys, we're going to wrap it up for now. Thank you again very much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. And just that you know, today and tomorrow I will be traveling to Geneva. So tomorrow's video will be a bit later. But I definitely going to upload later during the day a video update for you, my friends. So thank you again very much for watching. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.